Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Daniel, and I'm doing a Let's Play of Super Mario RPG. Back after the intro. Okay, that was about the longest intro ever. Uh, this is one of my favorite Super Nintendo games of all time, by the way. And uh, unfortunately, though, uh, we're not going to be seeing half the scenes that were actually in the intro there. Kind of weird. Show stuff that never actually happens. And don't worry, we're not going back into the intro. Uh, this is, for whatever reason, they decided to use this uh, scene more than once. Peach is out picking flowers in front of Mario's house when suddenly... The sky grows dark, there's lightning everywhere, and Bowser just kind of swoops by and picks her up. Good job, Mario. 
I love how Mario's just like, oh crap, I left the princess alone for five seconds. What happened? What do you think happened? <laughs> Never got the uh, point of Bowser and that little clown copter thing. Nothing about him is clowny. At all. I, I guess it's some kind of joke on horrendous, uh, like some kind of horrendously ironic joke or something like that, but uh, uh, so we start off here in Bowser's Castle where uh, Princess Peach has been taken. Now, none of these guys actually give experience, so I'm just going to skip them all. Uh, these guys you do have to fight, though, to get past the door. I'm not going to bother really explaining the battle system at this point. It's fairly simple. You press buttons uh, to block or to perform additional moves on top of your original attacks. It's uh, all based on this system. Timed hits and, well, I guess I just kind of explained exactly what I said I was going to explain. So, <laughs> I guess it saves me the uh, trouble of explaining it later. No experience, yay. I don't know what the point of this bridge breaking is, because there's no real reason why you'd go back into the previous room. Oh god! Princess! Wow, that was... I think that sound glitched. <laughs> Sounds like Bowser has a chest cold or something. Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond. <laughs> of course, you don't actually want to attack Bowser. Attacking Bowser does nothing because he has infinite health. Instead, you want to attack that little chain chomp thing that's uh, holding up the chandelier. I'm kind of questioning Bowser's forethought on this. He's like... You know, today, I'm going to battle Mario on a chandelier. That will end well. And uh, somehow we're higher up than we were a few minutes ago. Because if you just let this cutscene play without actually um, going forward in the messages, you'll fall forever. So Bowser has an extremely tall castle, or we're just falling at uh, ultra slow speed. I'm also not sure how falling, uh, standing on a falling chandelier is supposed to work. You're always in my way. This is it. I'm gonna take you out, Mario. Ha ha ha. Famous last words. Funga. And Mario can always reach this chain chomp, just barely. Oh, Mario, you had me so worried. How are we gonna get down? Uh-oh. Shriek! Princess actually said Shriek. You have no idea how little sense this scene made the first time I actually played this game. Um, it gets explained later, but... Uh, so I think I'll actually leave that for later. Suddenly, Mysterious Sword. Super Mario RPG appears in block letters above Bowser's castle. What does it mean? Stars everywhere. And... Boing. <laughs> this is like the luckiest shot ever. He gets knocked out of the, ha uh, the castle by the flying sword. Most random way to fly out of a building ever. Yet. It's good! Also, why... Uh, pipe House. Pipe House. Not really getting that one. Hey, Mario! Lots of people use something called a door to get out in and out of their houses. It's like, how about you ask me if I'm okay? Kind of just fell about... Uh, Three, four hundred yards. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, where is she? If you have to ask Toad, you're not Toad. Oh, it's funny because uh, Mario never says anything in this game. 
actually, it's probably one of the better parts about this game is how uh, Mario actually supposedly talks. <laughs> uh, you'll be getting a little of that later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Just gonna go back over here. This is the world map, by the way. Very simplistic. And let's just go back into the castle and... Yeah! Halt, who goes there? A trespasser. This castle down. Uh, oh, wait. That. Now, uh, whatever. First step towards taking over this world. Wow. Bowser's castle is obviously a very strategic uh, point there. Let's see who deal with this. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. I like how Mario jumps backwards onto the bridge. That's just like pro jumpage right there. Okay, this scene from the opening actually happens. Okay. Some of it does. Uh, I won't say it right now. Did you forget something? <laughs> this is great. Love how he just walks out in the air. You know. I'm explaining something, so I can do that right now. Ah, Toad, jerk. Oops, excuse me. Reduce my HP level. It does one HP worth of damage. He gives you a mushroom and tries to teach you how to um, use items to fix yourself up. But uh, I don't really see the point. You get a free mushroom if you don't go through the explanation. I had something to tell you. Oh god, Goomba. I don't know why the Goombas are so flat in this one. Kind of like squished. Yes, I know about timed hits. Hey, you better watch out. He knows about timed hits. That makes so much sense out of context. Why did I... You rushed back to tell me that uh, Mushroom Way was full of monsters. That's why. 